I met a gypsy. Man, I don't know that you're... I guess you guys do talk about your old boy a lot, but I don't know that people understand the level of savage that he is. Like, to be the coach, technically, to put you guys through... You know, obviously, it's like in collaboration with Johnny O, but it's like, how many kids do you know where their dad is just like this overbearing dickhead that is causing yeah. nothing but problems and like he needs this and he needs that and blah, blah, blah. like you know the kid can't do no wrong it's always the team's fault it's all it's everyone else yeah. and that it's like uh, you've you've probably seen it you've probably had some experience with people yeah. like that you know around you guys since you've been in america but it's like i yeah i just don't think people understand the level of g that your old boy is and and the role that he plays in like keeping the train on the tracks with you two yeah no exactly and as we speak right now is because like oh i got a little bit of a story this is how gnarly dad is so our mechanics have to drive like 100 miles or something each day to go to work and where where's the oh, i forgot where the riverside? Honda workshop is like it's some no it's for, like no it's not riverside it's like up like close oh, to like los angeles yeah 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 i know it, i yeah. forgot the name i've gone brain dead but yeah it's like a some like it's a good long drive like some days are three hours there some days yeah if they're lucky an hour and a half or two and the boys like we lost one guy because it was such a long drive and obviously they have a missus at home getting pissed like spending so long away from home and some we almost lost our engine guy but we didn't really made sure we didn't want to lose him because he really is really good so hunter and i are renting a uh building in in uh lake elsinore so it's close for our mechanics and my dad all this week has been going to there and building everything for the guys to have like a race shop there so that's how not and because my dad is whatever we need to succeed we'll do he's a very if we need to get a workshop here we'll if that's going to help us succeed in life yes we get it we need this we'll do it now so he's a very big whatever we need to do to succeed we'll do he, and that's what one thing i've kind of well it's rubbed off on hunter and i also so that's how gnarly does it so he's he's a really big handyman so he's already he's been there all week all he left early this morning before six or something before i even woke up i woke up at six or six thirty he was already gone already in lake elsinore going to build more stuff to for the boys set up air compressor paint the roof again or something the, the second coat or all these little things just to help us succeed more and, and make the boys life easier with travels because obviously they have effect on us also because they're our mechanics so they yeah. don't have to spend so much time away they're happy they are, they're going to want to work because they're closer they're a lot happier they don't have to worry about their missus complaining about getting home so late <laughs> and this keeps that whole team wanting more and it shows that hey we're not here just for ourselves. yeah you're part of our team and we're going to look off we're going to look after you guys is basically what we're kind of getting to it's like if you need it if you need this to help you to do your job better we'll do it and dad and dad more, more so controls that style of stuff hunter and i are just kind of like the money person like this is the card kind yeah. of thing but um that's that's what we're like and dazzy's a lot like that he is whatever we need to do to succeed we'll do and that's just how gnarly daz is he's did like all last year uh the 83 compound chad reed's old place he was prepping the tracks plus mechanicing for two guys for hunter and i and he was there from early first place the first guy out there and the last guy leaving because he would prep the track water the track then clean our bikes obviously make sure everything's good on those and he spent all day out there thankfully now it's there it's actually people out there doing that job for him so he has it a little easier now thankfully because the guy worked his ass off um but he's terrible because he's always looking for work so he's horrible even if, when he's home he's looking for something to work so but yeah but you, that's his but that's you know his what gnarly. he's you know what he's not looking for the spotlight he doesn't want any yep. of it he doesn't give a fuck 
about being the man he doesn't give a fuck about people knowing who he is doesn't give a fuck about any of that and i think that you know you see so many guys that have come in and it's like their dad's a part of the storyline in terms of like being Mm. a personality and injecting himself into it and it's it's like your dad has none of that going on and to me i think it's so it's so cool yeah i know it's it's funny because my dad is so hard on hunter and i that when i won an adac championship in uh, germany and because i rode so bad in that last one he'd even put the championship jerseys we made and like and (laughs) i was thinking it wasn't that big yeah but i knew at the championship over here it made it even better because i actually seen dad wearing my championship shirt i knew he wouldn't put that on just for no reason he put it on for a good reason and seeing that was cool she's like that it was kind of like my own little like in my mind my own little thing like kind of good like good job son like you did what you need to do kind of thing so it's cool because you don't get and you, you know how dazzy is you don't get much emotion out of him he's pretty straightforward you see him do his worst pit border he <laughs> riding that stuff's fine but when you go to put the pit board out it's just <laughs> hey, the straight cold, face baby. it sucks because you don't know if oh dude it sucks because like you might put in a good lap you feel like it's a good lap and you just got that emotion it's a straight face it's like oh sick Daz thanks a little bit now he's starting to loosen up a bit like we'll look at him like if I if we do something cool we'll look at him he might go like do thumbs up or something like that but he's pretty don't show too much emotion well i mean the thing is is that like you know the this is the sucky thing i mean hey i want i've i want that shit too with the podcast i want people to be like hey man Mm. great job you're doing so great but it's like hey if i suck i kind of need to know like the people that do the best in life are the ones that like live in the truth like what's the truth what's actually going on right now am i doing good exactly cool i'm doing good thank you i don't need much more than that am i doing shit give me the truth all right i suck cool i'll try and figure it out and do better you know what i mean so it's like yeah you want exactly uh, no sometimes it feels nice to get the little uh pat pat on the bum but at the end of the day as long as someone's giving you the truth that is uh you know that's the most that you can want from someone and that's kind of what you get from your old boy yeah it's uh it's cool because dad dad's always told us like he's he's said a couple times like i don't need to tell you a good job there's already enough people say that you've done a good job i'm gonna be here to tell you if you're doing something wrong and fix it and when he does and the cool thing is because he never does say good job a lot when you do when he does say yeah. good job are you to say good job swapper or good job like you know you did a good job like it's a it's a better it's mean that is means a lot more than someone else coming up like 10,000 people coming up and saying good oh you're an awesome per like you did awesome like yeah that like kind of just getting that like respect from like the dad's like kind of saluting this like good job like this is cool if you enjoyed this content please like and subscribe and to listen to the full three-hour podcast search gypsy tales in your favorite podcast platform or click the link in the description below gypsy gang